I cleaned my studio yesterday and found a whole lot of brand new stuff. A lot, it, it's all brand new to me. Some of it are new launches, some of it are not. But it, oh my God. That's what happens when I don't clean the studio as often as I should. You're gonna hear noise. And you're gonna hear noise because Cam's in the room. I'm gonna give you guys an update on Cam and life and everything, oh my goodness. She's pouting. Why well, you look so upset? Thank you. Her new thing is tapping. I know, she tries to tap everything. Yes, mommy, she talks now <laughs> and sings. I know you guys missed seeing her, but she's, she's a hot mess. I would never get anything done if she was in the room every single time, all day, every day. You hear this? <laughs> These are the Pixie Skin Treats. They're like uh, nourishing eye patches. This arrived, I'm gonna say like two weeks ago. Uh-uh. I'm not trying to break the tooth here, come on. Uh, I broke this one a little bit, but it's fine. We're gonna pop her on. I've had the rose ones. These, this is like my first time with this one in particular, but the rose ones are really nice. I think the gel might be the same thing. I'm trying to do this one handed here. They're just really juicy. So I'm gonna leave it on for like five minutes because I have other eye products to try. And they slide because they're so damn juicy. Hold on. Mm. You know what's not new to me, but I've been using it and I really, really like it. It's this perfume called Hue. It is by Hailey Kiyoko. I don't know if you guys have heard of her. She sings and acts and stuff. It smells really nice. I've been using this. I just got out the shower so I can put it on now. It smells so pretty. See, these things slide. Oh my God, this, I can't get over it. It smells so freaking good. And the packaging is just really pretty and different. Be ready to see this in a favorites because it smells amazing. It's the only perfume I've actually been using for about four weeks at this point. Oh, we're gonna pull these, oh, it broke. And then I'm gonna use my ring finger to kind of like pat this in. I'm gonna try this fresh kombucha facial treatment essence. It's sealed. Doesn't really smell like much of anything. So oftentimes behind the scenes, I try different uh, like skincare products. And when I do skin prep, with brand new product and then I apply makeup on top. Wait and see what my makeup looks like in the moment but then how it wears. And that lets me know whether or not my skin agrees with certain skincare products. Sometimes I get an allergic reaction in certain areas and then that lets me know. I have to narrow it down and figure out which one it was. Sometimes I don't, it really depends. It's very rare for me to get an allergic reaction to stuff though. So Miss Cammy, what is up with Miss Cammy Babammy? I call her Miss Cammy. You guys saw her in a recent video. She's so darn cute and super smart. She's into Frozen. I know Frozen is kind of like old now, but it's new to her. Now that my under eyes have taken a moment to like absorb the goodness of the Pixie product, I'm gonna go in with the Glow Recipe Guava Vitamin C Bright Eye Gel. Hey, how cute is that, right? I'm gonna do a pea size. She sings a lot of songs. She's freaking smart. She's at a point where she asks you for the things that she wants and she's really advanced. She's picked up sign language from videos on YouTube, which is weird. Her pediatrician was shocked to see her sign and was like, do you have her like in sign language class? Like, do you have someone coming in and teaching her? I'm like, no, she just watches these shows on YouTube. And then the pediatrician herself had to like go on YouTube and find the videos. Cause she was like, now I have to like recommend them because if she picked it up and she's not even two yet, that's freaking awesome. She speaks English, understands English. She fully understands Spanish, but she doesn't necessarily speak it yet. She does her sign language, which is great. And that's where we're at. Now that we have vitamin C under the eye, we're gonna apply vitamin C all over the face. I'm gonna use L'Oreal's Revital Lift. This is like my first time, so we'll see. And I'm not touching the dropper directly on my skin. I just kind of added a little droppy droppies. Oh, that smells so pretty. I forgot how pretty that smells. I unboxed it, but I never actually got around to using it because life is life. We went to Disney this past weekend. It was Cam's first time. Then again, it was our first time going to Disney while living in Florida. And now we're gonna go in and apply a moisturizer. I got this little sample by Ola Hendrickson. It's their Strength Training Peptide Boost Moisturizer. It's super tiny. It is a thicker cream at that. And you guys know when it comes to skin prep, a small amount of everything is gonna give you a beautiful base. But then you really wanna go in and pack on the skincare before going to bed. 
My skin is looking really good and I smell delicious. So let's move on to the next product. I got the Ola Hendrickson Banana Bright Vitamin CC Cream. Oh, that's a long one. It's not a cream, it's a stick. I got multiples of every color. So naturally, we're gonna try the banana. But they have it available in pumpkin and apricot. It looks like this. So it's like a, it looks like a concealer stick. Depending on the shade you use, it's supposed to brighten and color correct. I went with banana because why not? My under eyes are not that intense when it comes to like the pigmentation issue. It's like a sheer concealer, but it's not actually a concealer. So we're gonna go in with concealer, of course. And yes, because I have so many extras, I'm gonna throw those in a giveaway. I'm gonna use my finger to kind of pat it and press it onto the skin. I don't wanna blend it in quite yet. So I want this to kind of mix a little bit with my uh, concealer. I've got the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Concealer. Mine is, it, what shade are you? Cookie Dough 4.3. And if this doesn't work, I'm gonna be mad as hell. Oh, that looks light, girl. I'm gonna tap some here. I'm gonna do some there. I like this applicator. Doesn't this applicator look cool? I am gonna apply my concealer the way I typically would apply my concealer. You know what, here and here. I'm gonna leave it alone because I'm gonna try a foundation. I've been wanting to try the Giorgio Armani. Their Luminous Silk Perfect Glow Flawless Foundation. I ended up getting the mini because this thing is so freaking expensive and I thought about it. I said, okay, if you buy the full size and you hate it, then what? So I ended up snagging the mini. It was still expensive. It was like 40 semi dollars just for the mini, which is insane. But I'm hoping this shade works for, hold on. I'm hoping this shade works for me. I think it may. Did I do a good job? I'm gonna go ahead and blend the concealer, and then I'll blend the foundation into Le Concealer. I'm patting, really, I'm not, like, buffing. Time for a reality check. Do I need to go buy the full size? That's a good color for me. Or did I waste 40 semi dollars? I don't know, let's see. It looks slightly lighter than I need, but it's still a good color match because I could make it work without really putting too much effort into it. I don't have new powders to show you, but I have been using the Gerard Cosmetics powders a lot. And what I did was, this is kind of new here on the channel because I haven't actually showed you how I did it. I poured some of the pink and then some of the nude and I mixed it in the cap. So when I store, because I'm not throwing the, the, like the excess powder out. So when I store it, I store it like this. That way I can preserve the mixture I already have. And since it's already mixed, I can just kind of do one of these, tap on the back of my hand. I know it looks like a lot, but you really have to press it in. And that little bit that I took out, I can go ahead and just make sure I set the skin where it needs to be set. Wow, this foundation pretty much has set already and it looks really nice. Anyway, so that's where we're at with Cami Babani. She has a xylophone. She took my brushes and she's been playing with her xylophone along with my brushes. She's super hyper and tends to make a hell of a lot of noise. I don't have a new bronzer, so I'm just gonna use my Marc Jacobs really quickly. You see, so all day, every day, you're gonna hear tapping in the background at my house because if it's not her tapping, it's Ty singing, and then she chimes in with the singing. It's a, it's a lot. That is why I started filming without her in the room because the, I, you can't get anything done. Now, Ty is doing great. She's growing into herself and has gained her own little personality. She finished baseball, at least this season, which is nice. This is actually really new because we got this recently, but this is the Grande Brow Fill Gel in Ebony. And we, here on the channel, you guys, me, we all really liked this over the ABH one. Ty is so helpful and awesome. I'm putting up a vlog, like I said, the Disney vlog will go up, hopefully, Today, I'll give you guys an update on that. Because Cam is all over the place, right? I have to be way more hands-on with her. She's been trying to open the doors to go to the backyard. You guys know we have a pool. Although the pool is currently barricaded, I have to monitor because I need to see what she is capable of. Then we also have to make sure that Ty is getting the proper attention as well. Do you guys see what she does? She's, she's... Mm. The Huda Beauty Concealer is actually really nice for the under eye, but when it comes to sculpting the brows, it's way too liquidy. I'm gonna see how it wears under the eye just in general, but right now my favorite concealer is the Ofra Cosmetics one. Mine that I'm like, my go-to right now is the Medium Golden. You don't actually have to set it if you don't want to, which is great, so. 
I don't mind trying new concealers because how do I know what I love and what I don't love? Formulas and brands evolve, right? And so with their evolution and growth, I'm not saying I don't like the Huda Beauty one, but it's just, at least for sculpting the brow and I'm multitasking it, it's a little too loose in consistency for me. You never know, I might change my mind. Now that the brows are done, we're gonna try a Bobbi Brown Dual Ended Long Wear Cream Shadow Stick. This is in Bronze Pink Shimmer Espresso Matte. It has like two different colors. Do you guys remember these brushes that I got in P. Louise? Never got around to using these. So we're gonna do it today. I think I wanna start off with the espresso side. I'm going in without a primer because I'm assuming since it says long wear, I can skip a primer and I'm gonna use a fluffy brush to start blending. You guys, I never told you I canceled P. Louise, huh? It doesn't dry super fast, so you're able to really move it and blend it. Okay, I'm impressed by this. Bobby Brown. So yeah, I canceled P. Louise. I'm gonna say like two months ago. I was looking at everyone's feedback. A lot of people were saying it's super expensive. It seems like the fee is inconsistent, meaning every month it was different, which is true, because cer certain months they would charge me 47, certain months it was 52. It, I just never knew how much I was going to be charged. Then the spoilers weren't released until after they charged you, so what if you didn't want that box? Which is also true, but it's part of a subscription service, so it kind of is what it is. It's part of the deal. The previous month you would get it the next month, so in December we're unboxing November's, which, Kind of didn't make sense to me in my brain, but I was so happy with my P. Louise products and still am and found it so worth it that it was like, whatever, doesn't matter. But most of the feedback was that's a lot of money to have to wait. And what if I don't like the product and people wanted to see more drugstore stuff. So instead of investing in P. Louise boxes where a lot of people couldn't even get the subscription because it would sell out fast or couldn't afford to spend money on a beauty box, not knowing if they were going to like the product, which I completely understood, I'm investing that money elsewhere. I'm gonna take the pink side, the shimmer, and apply that in here. I've had something like this by other brands, but not the Bobbi Brown, at least I don't think so. I'm not even gonna blend that pink. I'm gonna use the brush that I used on the uh, espresso and kind of like blend this inner edge so it doesn't look separate it, and then I'm done. I'm not gonna do anything else there. I don't wanna smudge this under the eye, but if I do it like this, it's gonna get messy. So I'm gonna use a brush instead. It picks up under the eyeball. I think that looks pretty. And then I'm gonna pull out and up. I also got the Huda Beauty Creamy Coal Liner, but this one is in very brown. The tip is actually pretty sharp and perfect. So I'm gonna line the top very lightly just to add some depth. This is the perfect shade to wrap with the eye. So apparently it's supposed to have 24 hour flake proof wear. It's smudge and transfer proof, sweat and waterproof, comfortable on the waterline and it's ultra pigmented. It's going on fairly easily, so I'm not mad at her. I'll pull out here to make it nice and darky dark. Now I'm gonna apply some on the waterline. <laughs> The Bobbi Brown eyeshadow duo is really nice. It works, it blends, it's beautiful. The only thing is, I kind of wish the pink wasn't the pink. I wish it was more of a goldy or champagne shade because this would have been popping. But the pink is still cute, you know? It's like chocolate and strawberries. It's still really cute. I have a Lancome Mosnier Her Her this one, mascara. And the reason why I got a sample versus the full size is I wasn't sure if I was gonna love it. So I'd rather do a trial and see how that works. Okay, like on the bottom, so far the one coat is doing the most, but I have to see because in reality, my bottom lashes are just dramatic on their own and when I apply mascara, they just cooperate. Ideally, we would go falsy free today though. And if I love it, I'm gonna end up buying the full size. That is one coat and my lashes look pretty long. Coat number two. Two coats at the top, one at the bottom, and she's looking fantastic compared to no mascara. So I'm gonna build the mascara here and I think I wanna go a third coat because it's not looking clumpy or spidery, which is freaking awesome. Girl, that mascara worked really well. When I went in with the third coat right before, I curled my lashes and then went in with the third coat and it, it just did the most. I think I need to try more Lancome products because that was actually pretty impressive. I'm gonna go in with the Merit Beauty uh, blushes, these are the Flush Balm. I have Persimmon and then I have Stockholm. We swatched them, never actually tried them. This is a little too dark for what I'm trying to do today. So we're gonna go in with Stockholm. I'm gonna use a brushy brush and go in straight onto your skin, but I wanna give myself a little flush. See, that's pretty, okay? 
And then I have two lipsticks, bullet lipsticks by Gerard Cosmetics, who currently has a sale. I'm gonna link them down below and I'm gonna put this specific code because it's not my code, it's my link and their code, but that gives you 50% off Holy Grail products. That includes lipsticks, setting sprays, I'm trying to remember the Hair AF, and the clean canvases. Now, when you go on the website, you're not necessarily going to see like, oh, here's the sale. But what happens is the items that you want, add them to cart, and then at checkout, use the code that's available to you guys in the description box, and that's gonna give you 50% off Holy Grail products. I ended up getting two of their lippies. This one is in Mystic Moon, and then this one is in Vintage Rose. Because the eyes are rosy, I think we're gonna go rosy, but I'll swatch Mystic Moon for you guys and then feature it in another video. <gasps> Oh no, see this makes me want to go nude today, but I know the pink is gonna work best because that is so stunning. Let's let's go pink, let's go pink. I'm gonna use Gerard Cosmetics, I have to sharpen it first, Gerard Cosmetics' is liner and share. That is a very pretty pink. I think I'm done using new products, what do you guys think? Let's talk about how this foundation looks on my skin, in my opinion. It looks really, really good. Luminous, but not too luminous. I don't look greasy. I don't look oily or anything like that, which I'm really liking. I mean, you can focus on the forehead area here where I don't really have much product built on top of that foundation and it looks really good. The Bobbi Brown eyeshadow duo, I kind of want different colors now because that was kind of easy and it limited me to just kind of keep it simple versus doing the extravagant looks that sometimes I want to do. The Huda Beauty eyeliner was, I mean, it's pigmented. It did its thing, I'm not mad at her. What really shocked me so far out of everything is going to be that Lancome mascara. Is it going to knock your socks off for the rest of your life? No, I think it's a beautiful, beautiful formula. I would definitely invest the money in the full size. The blush by Merit Beauty just gave me that flush without making it look like it's too much or heavy. I didn't have to apply highlighter because the blush is a flush balm, so it just gave me that luminous effect to the skin, the Huda Beauty Concealer. So far, I like it, but I'm gonna use it without all the other products. Cause remember, we went in with skincare first. So we did the patches, we did the vitamin C serum under the eyes, and then we did the Ole Hendrickson stick. So right about now with all these products and the skin prep, everything looks amazing. But I wonder if it's gonna look amazing without all the skin prep. We're gonna have to try that out. I feel so good that I finally got around to trying all these products, like really trying the products. And then the ones that I have tried once before, I was able to feature here with you guys. Sometimes I just don't get around to actually featuring them in a video. So this for me was fun. And I know you guys are always asking for product information as well as the shade names and or links. I'll make sure I provide that in the description box for you guys. Out of everything that I've featured here today, what sparked your interest? Is there anything that you were like, I'm obsessed with this, I already own it, it's amazing, or I kind of really want to try it. Make sure you let us know in the comment section below. And if you've enjoyed this video, please make sure you give me a like. It lets me know that you're enjoying these kind of videos and then I can do them more often. And if you're not already subscribed, please consider joining our little family here on the YouTube channel and hitting the notification bell. And Miha, if you enjoyed this video, you don't have to leave. I have so much content already up on my channel. I know you're gonna enjoy. I'm also suggesting a few videos here on screen I think you're really gonna enjoy. So please consider checking those out. And I hope to see you guys over there. Bye guys.